We're going to break here in a moment for the rest of the hour. Uh, Doug Hagman uh, will be with us. Sorry I've gone to my guest a little late today. You start going a little late to each guest, and it builds up by the end. Uh, but, Doug, the most devastating evidence is that Rob Dew, my news director, uh, c constantly argues with his defense intelligence uh, brother-in-law, uh, who is actually pretty high up in it, and he's on the Army Marathon team, and he, he can run 24 miles in his sleep. He was running. He was pretty much fine, and they came over and said, you're dehydrated. We're pulling you out because he was up towards the front coming up to the finish line right before all this happened. Uh, they're running drills, all of this. Uh, Hagman, what is your latest intel from the Northeast Intelligence Network? You're up there. You have the best sources on the East Coast. Uh, you said Monday, Obama's about to double down, uh, imminent terror attack, and you were right, so here you are. Well, thanks, Alex. And I, I got to tell you this, um, according to my sources, there, there's just so much to this that we're not hearing that we may never hear about. But I think you've done a great job in breaking things down here. You've got, uh, you've got uh, uh, various situations that mirror historical terrorist attacks here in this country and and one thing that i was really concerned about is you know with all of the accusations of saying well you can't really say this is a false flag attack or you can't really uh conclude anything while that might be a true statement today you know are are, are we wrong to be a little bit jaded or a little bit gun shy about uh, about what we're seeing here with respect to to this incident, the fact that uh, that this appears to fit a certain template that uh, we've seen in the past with the training drills, with the uh, uh, with the even the prior warnings with the with with the dogs, um, you know, explosive sniffing dogs, the extreme police presence, the drills, so on and so forth. I don't think we're wrong to to, uh, to question the facts at all or question the motives at all, especially in the uh, in, over the last 24 hours when you have, as you've pointed out, the axle rods and the others coming out and saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, this could very well be a Patriot-related attack. They were Is saying that, it within one hour. Exactly, exactly. So and the, everything's the agenda. On, on that side. There's I, no real Tea Party person that would blow up people at that. Nah. They'd attack the UN or something. We'll be right back. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. We're going back to our guest, Doug Hagman of the Northeast Intelligence Network, here in just a moment. Chuck in Boston. And, and you're noticing the FBI saying, give us all your footage, just like Oklahoma City. Don't give it to the media. But uh, he's saying he saw cops with backpacks, and that's exactly what the bombs were in. And again, they were running a drill. People saw stuff that was making them suspicious, and they'd say, it's just a drill. Never mind. I would imagine, by the way, Sonny, can you sit on this bag for me? I'm an officer. Here's a lollipop. I mean, I'm telling you, that's how sick this is, and they could be firing who knows what. And it could be Islamic, could be fake, could be real. I mean, they're trying to blame it on the Tea Party. We're going back to Hagman in a minute with his uh, connections out there on the East Coast. Uh, but, Chuck, what did you see? Hi, Alex. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us what you saw. Yeah, I appreciate what you're doing. I can't talk too long. I got out of Boston as quick as I could. I was in at the 13-mile 13, 13 marker for the, uh, for the uh, race. I was walking from a restaurant over about to meet my friend, and... Uh, I saw what I saw was it caught my eye. It was a, a cop, and I disguised. I sent the video to the UN. Forget the press. Forget the FBI. I sent it to the UN. The United, whoever they are, the, the world military, whatever the hell they are. 
and uh, I put it on YouTube. I disguised it, and the name is 911 uh, uh, Liars Club. I disguised it as a 911 video because it's all connected as conspiracies. But what okay, I okay. Tell me the name of the video on YouTube, and we'll pull it up. Uh, say it again clearly. 911 Liars Club. I disguised it as that, but I, what I saw was a, a state trooper in his car, unmarked. He had his gun exposed, so he's obviously a cop. And uh, pulling a back, a knapsack, a backpack, and put it into the baby carriage. And I said, "What? Well, this ain't right." I recorded on my, I zoomed in on the license plate and everything, and I caught him on video putting the second one in the, in the baby carriage. Hey, I gotta go. I, gotta, I, I don't trust this. All right, that, that uh, caller sounded a little bit sar sarcastic, and, and, and maybe I'm wrong reading the voice, but you open the phones up, you're going to get some of that stuff. Uh, a lot of people that are working for the globalist also think it's funny to make all this a joke. It's going to be funny when they take your private pension fund. And go ahead and drink that fluoride and give your kid all the shots. Oh, you don't do that. It's just for the rest of us, it's all a big joke. And maybe that guy wasn't bad, but that sounded like somebody reading a script. That's what Skousen said he thought was going on earlier, too. Um, and if the guy's wrong, I'm wrong. But if that sounded like it was just designed to be paranoid, you know, you hear these ads that I don't condone going, you better go to this site or you're, you know, basically dead. I'm saying we need to get informed and involved or the evil will take over and then we're enslaved. I'm not like we're screwed, you know, get ready. It's like we can turn this around. Uh, but uh, a lot of callers coming in. We've got uh, Trish in New York, families, military, John in Washington, Army. Uh, Bill in Indiana, bombings related, uh, Dean, uh, Army, uh, Billy, we'll get to all of you. But let me just shut up so Doug Hagman of the Northeast Intelligence Network can get his points out. What are you hearing? What are you seeing out of this? Uh, the police saying there wasn't a drill, but the drill's on record. Uh, what's your take on this? What are you hearing? Uh, a couple of things. The, the train drill did happen as it was initially reported. And, and by the way, I talked to my source from the DHS this morning, and his reply to that training drill was, uh, how does that, how safe does that make you feel, uh, even if things went off exactly as the government stated, where you had uh, a real live training drill or a real live security force there with dogs checking for explosives, finding none. How safe do you feel now? How well did that work out for you? That was number one. But the, the, more disconcerting than that, Alex, uh, if, as of this morning when I talked to my source, he did say that this, this was an opening salvo of additional attacks of this nature that uh, he classified in, in his terminology as diversionary attacks, meaning false flag attacks. At least that's what I got out of that statement. So what I, I think what we're seeing here, based on, on the most current information I've got, is this is not the end of anything. This is the beginning of a, a, a more deadly, perhaps, a series of attacks. We're seeing the beginning of a, uh, well, it could even be a wag with dog scenario, but a beginning of, of, of a campaign to, to, to demonize, further demonize the conservative base, to further demonize the people that uh, are patriots. And, and the fact that this happened on Patriots Day should be lost on no one. The fact that uh, there are other issues related to Boston and freedom should be lost on no one. Um, clearly, and, and again, based on my source, I think the most important, if I can say nothing else today for today's broadcast, is expect more and look at these as diversions. And, and that's, that's pretty frightening as far as I'm concerned. Well said, and I did confirm that last caller was a disinfo operative uh, who's doing a pathetic job, by the way, what he's promoting us, 421 views uh, after a few years. But it shows how desperate they are that we're being swarmed by trolls online at an unprecedented level and on the videos and on air right now. They're very upset about the message we're putting out. And, and I know you don't like to jump the gun, Doug, but I, I mean, come on. Every TV show demonizes patriots. You've, uh, every channel, even Fox is saying it's probably right-wingers. Whether it turns out to be that or not, they're now mixing Al-Qaeda and right-wingers like it's one, you know, one thing. Uh, and it, it's just pure demonization when the globalists run Al-Qaeda now. I mean, I mean that's, that's not debated. So right. what does your gut tell you this is? And, you know, if your source, who I've talked to, one of your sources, 
if your source, you know, says he has this information, because I have my sources as well. I mean, if we don't know who's behind it, then how do we know there's more? This is an opening salvo. Oh, oh no, I totally agree with you on this. And, and, and even if someone, for example, even if uh, a member of Al Qaeda, as you as you right, rightfully point out, that uh, it's a creation of our intelligence agencies. Even if that turns out to be true, well, um, you, number. Number one, how do we know there's going to be more? I, I agree with that. Number two, um, the, the the fact that uh, uh, it could be Al Qaeda for the very reasons that they would state their their you know their uh, religious reasons. However, however, it's going to be exploited to demonize the uh, patriots, uh, constitutional uh, loving people, and and Christians. So it it really. It, it's exactly. Almost, it might be matter. real. It might be real terrorists that came over from Mexico. They would cover it up and find some patriot to blame. Oh, it, it, exactly. It's almost as if the facts don't matter. It's almost as if everyone is saying, well, um, you know, yeah, it, it's the patriots. It's because of this uh, uh, th th this this uh, extreme. I don't know, ideology by the conservative base in America that's causing the division in America when in fact it is the it is the progressive communist globalist one world order people that are causing this, that, that are creating and exacerbating situations like this. Everything we've seen since, well, even before the last piece of glass hit the pavement in Boston, everything we've seen is an attempt to demonize the very message of of ours, uh, the patriotic, constitutional, loving, uh, Christian, conservative base in this country. So expect more of this. And if this doesn't work, uh, you know, they'll do something else. But but we have to remember, too, we're also involved in a three-dimensional chess game here. We cannot look at this just merely in the context of one event. This is this happened in the context of other fights, constitutional rights being eroded, the gun grab uh, confiscation uh, taking place, uh, our economic just devastation that, that, that we have here. That's right. So it's a smokescreen from everything else they're doing. And meanwhile, Axelrod says it's probably the Tea Party doing it, Weekly Standard, Young Turks, uh, O'Reilly, Slimeball Matthews, uh, all of them. This just goes on and on. Here's my point. This is why I said this was eminent. Uh, again, every show says that patriots are going to murder you and your family and bomb public events with no evidence or history. Clearly, they're gearing up to do it themselves and blame it on us. That's 101. That's right. 101. And if they do try to say it's Al-Qaeda, everybody's going to point out, well, why is NATO arming Al-Qaeda then? So I don't see them going with that narrative. Uh... But, I mean, maybe the public's so stupid, maybe they let al-Qaeda in with a bunch of heat-seeking missiles, they shoot down airplanes, and then they go, oh, well, they got them in Libya, and everybody's too dumb to get to know that our government gave them to them. I mean, I mean, it's so simple. I mean, I guess the government yeah. just stage a bunch of bombings, take over. I mean, it's, it's real simple. Well, you know, I think, Alex, we're in the fight of our lives here. This is the end game. This is for all the marbles. Yeah, our liberties are at stake. Our very way of life is at stake. We're seeing the bankers rape, pillage, and plunder our bank accounts. That's, That's why you're seeing hyperventilating by all yep. of the establishment authoritarians that say they're leftist, going after the guns and everything and saying your kids belong to the state. It's like they know something huge is coming, and, they, and they're licking their chops with arrogance. I mean, they are on real power trips, and I hope they know we got hundreds of millions of guns. We got the jump on you. We know you're a terrorist. We know who you are. We know you're scum. We know you hate us. I, I mean, I hope they understand that we know who they are. Uh, and I think they do, which is why I think we're seeing the reactions that we're seeing. I think that there's, with in, in their mind, they are not leaving anything to chance. There's no single point failure for them. And, and so we may see in this multidimensional chess game, we may see a terrorist attack like we saw yesterday or an attack or a bombing like we saw yesterday and then something else take place over in another uh, a part of the world. I mean, look, it's just like it's just like what we're seeing in North Korea. Uh, what's that all about? Well, that's to, to divert our assets, military assets over there. Well, uh, uh, things can happen in the Middle East. You know, everything is connected here. I was about to say oil, gold. Uh, Russia, right. uh, Europe, uh, China, uh, Japan getting in fights now, North Korea, 
uh, Iran, putting Al Qaeda in charge of all these countries uh, with Homeland Security and, and, and NATO. Everything is going like like somebody hit the dominoes. You know, basically, yeah, exactly. somebody tripped the dominoes and the game is in play now. What is it building towards? Well, ultimately, I mean, we are a captured operation. When we can't even have an intelligent conversation about current events, whether it's about the pedigree of our current occupant of, our, of, the, of the White House or about what happened in Benghazi, for example, we still haven't gotten any answers to Benghazi. How can we expect, how can the average American expect to get the truth on something like what happened yesterday. We can't. What's this all building to? This is all building to the ultimate things that you talk about, the, the, this global domination. It's going to be a situation where they're going to collapse our economy. I mean, this is how it's been told to me. Our economy is going to be collapsed. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deliberate economic collapse of the dollar. We are going to be essentially slaves subjugated to a one world global governance and i know this is hard to really fathom for some people it was for me for a long time but when you see the evidence here so so the bottom line is this everything that we're seeing is one step closer to the further erosion of our liberties to the further enslavement of not only us but our children and our grandchildren and this is for all of the marbles this is for the entire power structure of the globe something happens here in the united states that further erodes our our, our freedom uh something happens in north korea something happens in syria all of this is to a means to an end and the end is our total and complete subjugation and enslavement to a one world global system of governance which is why they've got to get rid of we can't have a police state and an armed citizenry it just doesn't work out well so so what we're seeing here our methods, our events that will result in a further gun confiscation, further erosion of liberties, and uh, if, if for example, Sandy Hook didn't uh, didn't do it, something else will. No single point failure on the part of those coming after us. Yeah, and let's not forget they stage fast and furious. They do stage false flags. Even CBS reported they got the memos. They were planning to blame the Second Amendment and say, "Hey, your guns are causing Mexico's problems when it wasn't our guns." And even when they got caught, they still went forward with it. And, and I mean, you look at Aurora. I mean, that that is open and shut, classic MK Ultra stage drugged. You know, DARPA program, Pentagon psychiatrist over him. He's in a brain man interface, machine interface program, just like Theodore Kaczynski was in MK Ultra. That's declassified. But no one ever goes, gee, why was the guy from MK Ultra the reported Unabomber? Because the truth is, they just set up these drugged out mind control guys to be their cutouts, you know, to tell their radical anti human story. I mean, it's, it's just incredible how the globalists. Uh, Hey, look, the CIA for 30 years, I believe it was 87 different universities, millions upon millions of dollars. How many uh, subjects were, uh, were, were affected by uh, this, this trauma-based mind control? We, 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 we've seen this. It's documented. You've pointed this out. So, you know, we do have these Aurora shooters and other people. People think that this is conspiracy nonsense. I used to laugh at it and think, oh, my gosh, no, it can't be. But the documentation is out there for anyone to look at. But I think the important point right now is this we have to realize that we're in the fight of our lives that there are people who want to take control of us this is part of their operation you've got david axelrod and that was a great article too by steve watson uh, david axelrod coming out and saying well you know it, it could very well be a, a dispute over tax day referring to the bombing of yesterday this is so at the end of the day at the end of when it does come down to the motive it's going to be so watered down that people, all they're going to remember is Patriot's Day, Tax Day, bombing, that type of thing. And it's, it's, it's a trauma-based, this is where the trauma-based mind control comes in, and the use of the press to no, really... No, no, that's it. They're the ones you know, engaged in the trauma-based mind control, milking Sandy Hook, milking, yep. uh, milking Aurora, milking this to divert us from the 85 billion a month that's transferred to offshore banks. And if you look at all the thousands of declassified tests, some of which had uh, thousands of programs within them, or, or incidences where they would kill foster kids, veterans, troops, uh, towns, white people, black people, they don't care. Of course they would stage something like this. Criminal globalist elements 
because they like doing this as well. And now images of troops with machine guns everywhere bugging their eyes out at people uh, as if uh, 400 troops, checkpoints didn't stop this. In fact, it's probably the people running the checkpoints that brought this to you. I mean, it's so elementary, and I think more and more people are... Do you think it shook them up that we had a reporter take over both press conferences? Uh, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. Um, I, I defer to you on that. I, I, I really don't know, but all, all I know is this. I think that we're, <laughs> we are, we are the, the, uh, uh, the intended recipients of the shock and awe campaign, this military psyops campaign, this campaign of, uh, uh, of extreme disinformation, and disinformation is the key here. You've got, uh, you've got people that are in the media that are working for the globalists. You've got the uh, people that are uh, performing these uh, these press conferences that are obviously working for Absolutely. the globalists. Absolutely. We are yep. so infiltrated. That's why they shut right. down both press conferences. HomelandSecurityUS.com is the website. HomelandSecurityUS.com. Doug Hagman, thank you so much for the time. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.